this is a very cool tool. And sometimes I buy a tool just because I think it's cool. That's what I've done here. So this came from eBay and it's described as an R410A R22. Those are refrigerant gases. Valve core remover installer tool with dual size SAE quarter and 5 16 port. The interesting thing about this is that unlike a standard Schrader valve removal tool, this one is designed to work under pressure on a system that does have gas in it. So let's zoom in and I'll show you how it works. So for those of you not familiar with Schrader valves, it's what you'll find in your car tire. It's a valve with a little uh, valve core in it. And this kit actually came with an adapter for different sizes. And it also came with that manual removal tool that if you didn't have a pressurized system, you could just remove the core like this. It just simply screws in. It's got a little plunger that pushes down and opens the valve at the back there. However, if it's under pressure, you can't really do that because at this point, if it was under vacuum, it'd be pulling air in, which is bad, air and moisture. It would also, uh, if it was under pressure as opposed to vacuum, it would be potentially blowing refrigerant out, which would be very expensive indeed. Things worthy of note, the cap for these also have an, has an O-ring at the back and that acts as a secondary seal, but that's not so great when you're actually working it, when you take it off and there's gas squirting out. However, this tool lets you change the corner pressurized system by simply screwing it on over that valve. Then, once it's on, you push this plunger in and rotate it until you feel it click over the valve, which it's just done. And you press it down so the little pin at the back is now in a little rubber sleeve and you unscrew it. When you've unscrewed it, and you can feel the thread click when you, you've unscrewed it, you pull this back and you turn the shutoff valve off. That isolates this top section and lets you unscrew this. And there is the Schrader core that you've just removed from the valve. You then get one of the other Schrader cores, the replacement one, and you press it in. And this does have that little rubber sleeve down the end. It's quite neat. It goes in quite decisively. Maybe an O-ring. Not sure. But once you've got the new valve, you put it in and you screw that on. Once it's tightened up, you open this valve again and you press the little insert down into the Schrader valve. When you rotate it, it screws it in and you'll feel it tighten up at that point when it's tight, but not too tight. You can then pull the little plunger back and undo it from the Schrader valve. And the new core is in without depressurizing the system. Very neat. They do recommend shutting the, uh, isolating that area if possible on the refrigerant system. There is also a little uh, port here. I'm not sure what this is for. Possibly pressure equalization or is it for a gauge? I'm not really sure. But it's a very neat little tool. It's quite nice. So it comes with the adapter which screws in the end here. And I have to say that even when screwed in, this is for the larger valves. When it's screwed in, even quite tightly. It doesn't seem that the plunger goes in that far, but I think it's enough to actually do the job. And it comes with a little bunch of these Schrader cores. So all in all, it's a pretty cool tool. I am impressed by that. I think that's very neat. Um, I guess the reason that it's so cheap and readily available on eBay is because, well, China has a lot of air conditioning and refrigeration systems, so they're going to have all the tools. Oh, something worth mentioning. The tool that goes in and grabs the Schrader valve has uh, an O-ring in here for the seal of the tool itself for the, the shaft and also the O-ring for sealing against the end. I did have to add a dab of silicone lubricant onto the sleeve of this, just a tiny quantity, just to ease it through that because it was quite stiff before. Um, that is a controversial area. Some people say you shouldn't use silicone in refrigeration equipment, uh, but you're not really injecting it into the system. It's just actually in this uh, chamber here and it's a very tiny quantity. So I don't think that would be an issue. But then again, some people will also say that it's absolutely fine to use silicone in refrigeration seals. It's a controversial area. But this is it. A very cool tool indeed.